हेलो फ्रेंड माय नेम इज रिदम जैन एंड आई एम स्टडीइंग इन इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ प्रोफेशनल स्टडीज डी ए वी वी आई एम करेंटली परस्यूइंग एम टेक इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड कोरबा एज इट इज पार्ट ऑफ अवर कोर्स करिकुलम सुपरवाइज बाय डॉक्टर नितिन नागर सर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कोरबा सम कोरबा बेसिक्स आर्किटेक्चरल ओवरव्यू ऑफ कोरबा सम इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कोरबा कोरबा सर्विसेज एंड इन द एंड वी विल कंक्लूड विद सम प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ द टॉपिक यू विल गेट एम्पल नोट एंड डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ईच टॉपिक जस्ट बी विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो आई होप यू विल लाइक इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स इन अवर माइंड आफ्टर लिस्निंग टू कोरबा इज वॉट इज कोरबा सो कोरबा और कॉमन रिक्वेस्ट ब्रोकर आर्किटेक्चर is a standard architecture for distributed object systems it allows a distributed heterogeneous collection of objects to interoperate now what are the terms distributed or heterogeneous objects distributed objects refer to software modules that are designed to work together but reside in multiple computers connects via network corba allows programs written in various languages with varying implementation running in disparate locations to communicate with each other as easily as if they were in the same process address space corba is a standard defined by the omg the object management group the omg comprises over 700 companies and organizations including almost all the major vendors and developers of distributed object technology including platform database and application vendors as well as software tool and corporate developers corva is the world's leading middleware solution enabling the exchange of information independent of hardware platforms programming languages and operating systems so our very first sub topic is corva basics corva relies on object technology to accomplish this encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and dynamic binding hide implementation details making corba's work appear transparent three areas leveraged by clients using corba are invocation transparency implementation transparency and location transparency now what are these terms invocation transparency defines the viewpoint of a client sending a message to a server implementation transparency is a encapsulation applied to distributed systems and the location transparency allows a client to invoke corva enabled code that might execute elsewhere on the network the omg's main goal is to create a component based software marketplace by hastening the introduction of standardized object software a major step towards the creation of the object marketplace was the defining of the omg's object management architecture now what is oma so let's see the object management architecture oma distinguishes corba from other distributed system technologies object in an object oriented system cooperate to achieve solutions to domain problems for object to appear to speak the same language they must use a common mapping to their particular language for code in languages such as cobol java c and python to communicate to one another an intermediate language must bind them the omg interface definition language allows developers to describe the interface of the data type they wish to use remotely in a language independent fashion idl or interface definition language we will see this in detail just in a while for now corva defines two related proxies a stub and a skeleton so what are these i stub is the client side proxy and a skeleton is the server side proxy both proxies hide the use of the orb from the client and the server now what is orb the object request broker is the orb part of corva interoperability is the orb central purpose all corva enabled objects must use an orb to make or receive method request but those same objects rarely see the orb now the next term is iiop or the internet inter orb protocol is the protocol for how orbs communicate with each other the average developer does not need to know anything about iiop as the standard orb protocol iiop should be the default protocol for any orb installation although iiop is not the only choice omg document defines the idl to java mapping 
एंड कवर्स एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम पैकेज नेम्स टू हेल्पर्स टू मैपिंग कोरबा सुडो ऑब्जेक्ट हियर इज द लिस्ट ऑफ सम मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज स्पेसिफिकेशन मैपिंग टेक अ लुक ऑन देम एंड वी विल मूव अहेड तो द नेक्स्ट सब टॉपिक इज टेक्निकल एंड आर्किटेक्चरल ओवरव्यू ऑफ कोरबा इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी हाउ कोरबा वर्क एंड वॉट एलिमेंट कोरबा कंसिस्ट ऑफ बिफोर दैट लेट सी वॉट इज द मेन प्रॉब्लम विथ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम आर हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ सम डिफरेंट मशीन हैविंग डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड लेट से हैविंग सम कोड इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस नाउ फॉर कम्युनिकेशन विद ईच अदर देर आर मेनली टू प्रॉब्लम डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस to overcome these problems we use korba architecture because it provides language independency as well as platform independency here you can see a figure or we can say a client server architecture assume that the client wants to run a function that is written on any server or remote machine for example this is a snapshot of make my trip website here you can enter source and destination and how many tickets you want and it will show available tickets with different pairs on different dates so what is happening here make my trip is a client server and these different flights has their own server that contains all the functions calculating and fetching of data containing availability and pair of flight so here these flight servers are the server part of our architecture make my trip website is calling the functions written on their server so let's go back to our diagram after this client and server here you can see stub on the client side and skeleton on server side as you have seen in previous slide these two works as proxies here these are used to marshalling and unmarshalling of parameters and return values and other than these the thing is orb that gives operating system independency because you can see now the ultimate communication here is done by the orb of client and server side only and as we saw before for language independency a common language idl is used in between client and server for communication as you can see in the figure that means when stub takes parameter from client then convert them in idl and send by a orb on the server side skeleton again change the idl parameter to server side programming language and the same happens with the return value coming from server to the client here we can say stub understands the language of client and skeleton understands the programming language of server and they both understand the common language that is interface definition language so we can say that stub is proxy for client as it works as server on client side and skeleton is proxy for server as it works as client on server side and the protocol used here is iiop which is an internet inter orb protocol so this technology is only for the internet because with the help of internet distributed systems are made here you can see a descriptive diagram of korba in this you can see interface repository and implementation repository in order to contain metadata of client and server respectively then there are some other things like idl stub idl skeleton dynamic invocation interface dynamic skeleton interface orb interface and object adapter as i have said we will see idl in detail so let's now talk about it the interface definition language provides the primary way of describing data types in korba idl is independent of any particular programming language mapping or winding from idl to specific programming languages are defined and standardized as part of the korba specification the central korba functions services and facilities such as the orb and the naming services are also specified in idl now the next term is orb that is object request broker so the core of the korba architecture is the object request broker each machine involved in a korba application must have an orb running in order for processes on that machine to interact with korba objects running in remote processes the client orb provides a stub for a remote object request made on the stub are transferred from the client's orb to the orb servicing the implementation of the target object 
the request is passed on the implementation through an object adapter and the object skeleton interface. The skeleton interface is specified to the type of object that is exported remotely through Corva. The next main element of Corva is object adapter. An object adapter is a framework for implementing Corva object. It provides an API that object implementation used for various low-level services. The object adapter provides a general facility that plugs a server object into a particular Corva runtime environment. Older versions of the Corva specifications and Java IDL support a BOA basic object adapter interface while newer version supports a portable object adapter interface. All server objects can use the object adapter to interact with the core functionality of the ORB and the ORB in turn can use the object adapter to pass along client requests and lifecycle notifications to the server object. Now the next term is IIOP. The core by standard includes specifications for inter ORB communication protocols that transmit object requests between various ORBs running on the network. The protocol are independent of the particular ORB implementations running at either end. The inter ORB protocol delivers message between two ORBs. These messages might be method requests, return values, error messages, etc. If you want two ORBs to talk, just make sure they both speak the same inter ORB protocol. The inter ORB protocol IIOP is an inter ORB protocol based on TCP IP and so is extensively used on the internet. So these are the main elements of Corva. Now the next subtopic we are going to talk about is Corva services. Corva services are the object services of the object management architecture. Corva services define base services and a support structure useful to a wide range of applications. There are 16 services that are supported in Corva. Now, these services are so fundamental that the enterprise Java Wins specification dictates the use of four of them as a requirement. These four are naming services, security services, persistent state services and object transaction services. So let's see them in detail. The first is naming services. The Corva naming services provides a directory naming structure for remote objects. The Corva naming service is one of the naming and directory services supported by JNDI. The naming tree always starts with the root node and some nodes of the object tree can be created by an application. Actual objects are stored by name at the leaves of the tree. The fully qualified name of an object in the directory is the ordered list of all of its parent nodes starting from the root node and including the leaf name of the object itself. So the full name of the object labeled Fred in the diagram is living thing animal name Fred in that order. These are uh, some more information related to naming service. Just have a look on them and then we will move ahead. Now the next service is security service. The security service is one of the more complex Corva service. It consists of two levels. Level 1 provides basic security for user authentication, invocation security and availability of authentication principles to security aware applications. Level 1 allows applications to ignore the system security requirement. The security needs are limited in scope and the ORB will usually handle these needs to the total ignorance of the objects involved in an invocation. Level 1 security requires support for the no delegation and the simple delegation models among a client and invoked object and a final target object. Now the level 2 is everything level 1 provides plus the following security areas. Security level 2 gives the system full use of all functionality. Separate administration programs modify security policies. Now the next service is the persistent state service. The PSS stores and retrieves objects. In conjunction with an OTS, that is Object Transaction Services, the PSS abstracts the interaction between objects and data stores. The persistent state service or the PSS relies on the Object Transaction Service and Security Service to maintain transactional integrity and access control. 
in the same way that ideal defines the interface of a distributed object a new persistent state definition language defines the distributed object scheme in a portable fashion now the last service that we are talking about in this video is object transaction service the ots enables corva object to execute as parts of distributed transactions the OTS specification was one of the first of the Corva services specifications and has undergone recent changes to increase its flexibility and to fix various implementability issues. A transaction describes a collection of interactions where multiple users may access and or modify data and the data's integrity is guaranteed. The acronym ACID describes the four standard requirements for reliable transactions that is atomic consistent isolated and durable now what are these four terms are atomic the completion of the transaction signals either full success or complete failure in an atomic transaction there will never be a situation where some of the steps completed but others did not consistent the effect of the transaction are repeatable and predictable isolated the transaction is not interruptible from the outside and gives no indication if execution is proceeding serially or concurrently and the durable sort of a catastrophic failure power outrage earthquake etc the transaction results are persistent uh, these are some other points related to these are some other points related to object transaction services a transaction completes in one of two ways either committed or rolled back complete rollback of child transaction occurs when the parent transaction fails. Corva is a vast topic. We have only covered some basic information about it. Now at the end, let's conclude the video with some pros and cons as I said earlier. So the advantages of Corva. Corva allows methods to run on a remote object to be accessed as if they were on the local machine. Corva is a mature technology. Support and tools are widely available. Now, some disadvantages of Corva are it is a complex technology and it takes extra download time. This is all about Corva. You can make your notes for semester exams by pausing the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and gained some knowledge. If you are with me till now and love the video, like it, comment your views and share it with your friends so they can also understand the topic. Thank you everybody.